Here's a 5.3 LMG liftout engine. Why am I showing this to you? Well, this engine just came out of the wrecking yard and it has the harness and all the other accessories on it. You come over here, here's the wiring on this harness. This right here is the interior connector, fuse block connector, ECM connectors, rear chassis connector. You're going to drop this in your JK, you're going to plug these in, and you're going to start it. That's where we're going with our easy install. This is Robbie, Mitch, and Joey from OTEC, and we're going to give you a little glimpse of our new easy install. One of the three components to the new easy install kit is going to be our plug and play factory harness. Now, this is a completely stock, brand new GM harness, unmodified. This connector Mitch has in his hand is the interior connector. You can see we have our ECM connectors and our rear chassis connector. Down here we have our fuse block, which is plugged right into the factory GM power distribution connector. Mitch is going to plug in the ECM. He's going to plug in the interior harness. Now let me say, on this interior harness, all we have is a data link connector and an accelerator pedal position sensor. That's all you're going to be running into the interior of the vehicle. Now you'll notice that he's going to plug that right into the factory GM interior connector. The final connector is the rear chassis connector. And I'm not going to plug it in, but we're just going to show you. This goes to your EVAP vent solenoid, your downstream O2 sensor, and your fuel tank pressure sensor. And again, that's your factory harness. So this harness is now completely unmodded. This is right from GM. We have not spliced anything into it. Pedal actuation, pedal actuation. OB2 port works. Just kind of slow. All right, now we can start it. 